Good evening and a very warm welcome to you all, wherever you are, to this special service of commemoration for all souls here in Pershaw Abbey. We are really sorry that due to restrictions we're unable to be together in one place, but please be assured that our thoughts and our prayers unite us on this special evening as we remember those dear to us. If you have an order of service to hand, we begin on the first page. In the name of Christ who has died and was raised by the glory of the Father, we welcome you. Grace, mercy and peace be with you all. We meet this day to remember our loved ones, to renew our trust and confidence in Christ, and to pray together that we may be one in him, through whom we offer our praises to the Father. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand, and I shall not fall. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. For with you is the well of life, and in your light we shall see light. We now hear the choir as they sing our first hymn, Lord of all hopefulness, Lord of all joy. Hold us in life and sustain us in death. To you be glory and praise for ever. For the darkness of this age is passing away, as Christ, the bright and morning star, brings to his saints the light of life. As you give light to those in darkness, 
who walk in the shadow of death. So remember in your kingdom, your faithful servants, that death may be for them the gate to life and to unending fellowship with you, where with your saints you live and reign, one in the perfect union of love, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Lamentations, the third chapter. My soul is bereft of peace. I have forgotten what happiness is. So I say, Gone is my glory, and all that I had hoped for from the Lord. The thought of my affliction and my homelessness is wormwood and gall. My soul continually thinks of it, and is bowed down within me. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are every new morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. For the Lord will not reject forever. Although he causes grief, he will have compassion according to the abundance of his steadfast love. For he does not willingly afflict or grieve anyone. For the word of the Lord. We now sing our next hymn, Be Still and Know That I Am God. For many people, for many of us, 
these past few months have been really challenging and really quite difficult as lives have been turned upside down where things we've taken for granted just aren't happening in the same way. That feeling of being turned upside down is something that we know that our bereaved families, for all of us tonight who are carrying a loss, have felt particularly keenly. For many months now, our services of thanksgiving, our funeral services, have not been able to happen in the same way that we long for them to be. Those of you who were bereaved at the start of this pandemic will know just how painful that was for you. That sense of a great loneliness, that we couldn't gather all the family and the friends that we longed to have with us, that we couldn't pack into our churches throughout the benefice, all those who we know would want to come and pay respects to our loved ones. There was a great sense of being alone. And even now, with restrictions having eased somewhat, we still can only have a few people gathered together for these really important services. So many of us have been on a real journey of loss. A loss of a loved one, a loss of being able to celebrate and remember in the way that we would choose. Tonight though, we have come together. As I said at the beginning, I'm sorry that we can't all be together here in Pershaw Abbey, but if you're following the service at home, if you're watching the video on a different day, we're actually all together in this, whether our loss and bereavement is recent, is this year, or is from last year, or from many years past. I hope and pray that tonight we will truly know that we are not alone, that there are many other people sharing our thoughts and our feelings, that somehow we are all holding each other together as we remember our loved ones. And in that remembering and in that being together, we look to the hope and the promise that Jesus shares with us, the hope and the promise that we heard in our gospel reading. Jesus wants us to know that our loved ones are together, that they are surrounded with the never-ending love of God that unites all people, whether they're in joy or in a time of pain and loss. One way that we try to show that when we're together for this service is to have our candles placed on the altar and as the names of our loved ones are read out, people have come forward to light a candle and that candle never stands on its own. It's surrounded by the candles of many other people who are being remembered. We are united in life and in death and in life beyond death. And when all those candles are lit, we know that the light that they share, the light of Jesus Christ, shines into all our darkness, into all our feelings of being alone and adrift, and gives us hope and strength wherever we are on our journey of loss and bereavement. And we hope and pray that tonight, as we look once more upon those lit candles, we will have a sense of peace, that we will know that we are supported by God, by his love shown through Jesus Christ and by one another, that we will get through this, that we will always remember our loved ones with great thankfulness, wherever we are. Amen.
We now sing our next hymn, How Sweet the Name of Jesus Sounds. sessions for those we remember and hold dear. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the ways of peace. Almighty God, you have knit your chosen people together in one communion, in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. We give to your whole Church in heaven and on earth your light and your peace. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all those who have gone before us with the sign of faith. We pray for those whom we love but see no longer. All those who have a special place in our hearts and our lives. All those who still live with us and are very much part of our own lives. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for ourselves and all who are still on our earthly pilgrimage. We pray that we may walk with hope and expectation and that your Holy Spirit may lead us in holiness and righteousness all our days. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for all who mourn, those who have been bereaved recently, those who have known loss over this past year, those whose loss stretches back many years and yet still feel the loss and the pain. Lord, in your mercy. And we pray for ourselves, 
May we have the strength to meet the days ahead in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those whom we love. Help us, in the midst of things we cannot understand, to believe and trust in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection to life everlasting. Lord, in your mercy. Grant us grace to entrust those whom we remember to our never-failing, your never-failing love which sustained them in this life. Enfold them in the arms of your mercy and remember them according to the favour you bear for your people. In our prayers, we especially commemorate those whom we have loved and lost, whose memory we treasure and hold in our hearts, whom we bring before you now. The light from these candles represent our loved ones whose memory we treasure. The choir will now sing, Pia Yesu. sing our next hymn which is a beautiful prayer reminding us that God is with us in all things and as we quietly sing this hymn wherever we are we have our loved ones very much in our hearts and minds so we sing God be in my head
So we join our thoughts and prayers together as we say the prayer in the booklet. Hear us, O merciful Father, as we remember in love those whom we have placed in your hands. Acknowledge, we pray, the sheep of your own fold, lambs of your own flock, sinners of your own redeeming. Enfold them in the arms of your mercy, in the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and in the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. We now sing our final hymn, Make Me a Channel of Your Peace. his joy in this world and the next and the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always Amen